We all eat on a daily basis, but have you ever really thought about how many chemicals and ingredients go into your food? I mean, look at this list of chemicals here. You probably haven't heard of most, let alone tried to pronounce them, and yet you eat all of these every single time you eat a blueberry? Surprised? You shouldn't be. After all, everything around us is made up of chemicals, from the water you drink to the air you breathe. Literally, water is a chemical substance. Which is why it's frustrating when companies consistently tout their foods as chemical-free, or you hear somebody say, if you can't pronounce an ingredient, don't eat it. Feel like a banana? Hope you're ready for the chemical goodness that it brings. Seriously, we can break down any food to look like a confusing long list of foreign ingredients. Stick this list beside a heart candy and which seems more chemical free. But what about all the awful man-made chemicals, you ask? Surely they're much worse. In a lot of cases, yes, but not always. Consider this beautiful apple compared to sodium thiopental used in lethal injections. Would you guess that the seeds within apples have roughly the same toxicity level? The amygdalin in the seeds and the sodium thiopental both become toxic at around 1,000 milligrams per kilogram of your body weight. Of course, apples contain very little risk because there is so little in the seeds you'd have to consume a lot. And yet, if we compare citric acid and lemons to aspartame, an artificial sweetener, we find that neither are toxic at 1,000 milligrams per kilogram of body weight. The truth is, almost everything is poison at a high enough dose. Some are lethal after just a few milligrams, while others require kilograms to bring death. But the dose is the poison. We should be thinking about these things, but not in a black and white way. Which chemicals are actually more harmful? We can't just give blanket statements to natural versus synthetic, because natural chemicals aren't always good for you, and man-made chemicals are not inherently dangerous dangerous. Have you ever eaten a natural watermelon before? Probably not, considering in 3000 BC they were about 55 millimeters wide, 80 grams, 1.9% sugar, and extremely bitter with only 6 varieties. Now, watermelons are 660 millimeters wide, weigh around 8 kilograms, have 6.2% sugar, are seedless, and come in 1200 varieties. Thousands of years of human-guided evolution have changed these fruits from their quote-unquote natural form. The same can be said for sweet corn, which comes from the Teosinti plant. In 9,000 years, they have become 1,000 times larger, 3.5 times sweeter, and much easier to peel and grow. Now, this isn't a defense of processed foods, and it's not to say that one side is better or worse than the other, but simply that foods are complex things, and a little perspective can go a long way. You simply can't lead a chemical-free life like some brands would like you to think. The word detox is strictly a marketing myth. Do your research, actually understand what you're eating, and your health will benefit. While we're on the topic of food myths and misconceptions, be sure to watch our videos on fresh versus frozen food and gluten where we debunk some commonly held beliefs and try to knock some science into people. And subscribe for more weekly science videos.